So let's talk about the release we sent out uh, yesterday evening, which is called version 1.22, like 22. And there's a lot of things uh, to cover and which of them are groundbreaking. So let's just look on it. First, we will talk about uh, everything that changed regarding user management. There are a lot of changes there. Um, mainly how we track it and how we track when they are not active. And finally, a lot of ask is that we can have a, an administrator and the goal owner at the same time. We look into that. Then we go to the big things that changed, the call out hub that is new and something um, ever since we have the information doc with us that people um, ask for is like change the name and the icon for the information doc. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's talk about first about uh, the, the users here. So new, uh, beginning with 1.22, if you go to a user site, you will see that we have here months of inactivity. Okay, so you see that. So meaning we will show you beginning of two months, not by one month, because again, we are not a tracking tool. We are a tool to um, uh, monitor your uh, users, not in a way to uh, uh, um, spy on them, but rather having uh, pretty good statistics there. It's like if a user has not logged in for two months or three months or four months, you can remove them automatically. Um, if they come back, we will add them automatically anyway. So, but it, it helps you manage uh, your statistics. So you can also like filter for that. So seeing like every user that is like inactive for more than two uh, months, which obviously is not because we also have like updated it uh, yesterday. So when we start counting from, from that update here, so no users are in here for two months. What also news here, you have the settings here where you can actually say on, on the users tab, say let's remove all the users that are inactive for more than three months as, a, as an example. So we remove them and once they're, uh, once they're here again, um, in meaning like they, they come back from uh, after half a year, we just add them automatically anyway. So, but that helps you that, that your statistics is like, um, um, to say uh, more accurate in a way because we do not add them on, add them up 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 also we can remove it now um so that's kind of cool if we look into what we added also in in that regard we have the audit log here which is updated so if you go into the audit log you will see that you have now uh, an object type, not only how the hotspots and the configuration has changed, but can also see like on, on users. So if we apply it here, we will see that um, that the administrator here has updated uh, the object type user. So you can see that something has uh, managed on, on my end. So we have changed the configuration. So it's not that important for most of you, but, but sometimes if you go into the audit log, so now we can also track how um, things are changed on a, uh, on a user way. Okay, just for your information here. So, and let's go to uh, goals and an administrator. And we know it's, it was a bit, how to say, um, not clear from the very beginning for us as the developer of Gravity was kind of clear for, for you as the users not. So there is a differentiation between a goal owner and an administrator. And in, in the past, you could be either goal owner or administrator. That one has changed. So if we look here on admin, uh, Alexander thing, so you see it here. Now you can change it. It can be a goal owner and an administrator at the same time. Okay, so it's not either or. So, but you can now have your own user, and they can be both role. And of course, that hangs together with the single sign-on mechanics that we have brought in, because uh, they're like all the IDPs, the identity management software now um, also provided uh, one user with different roles, and therefore we aligned it uh, with that. But it makes it a little bit easier. I know it's a small thing, but um, that helps clear out the logic here um, for, for all your people. So now let's call about the callout hub. So 
This is something new, and this is a big change for us. Worked quite a bit on that one. Um, really proud because it really, really helps working on, on gravity. So look, if you are on gravity here and um, you're going into edit mode, we have something new down here, okay? So that thing here. So we call that the edit hub. So gravity just works normal as it is today and, and nothing special here. But what you have here is what we call the hub. And it re replaces the thing we uh, previously called the collector. You know, there's this gray box down there where it shows all the callouts that were not, could not be placed on the site for editing because the element or that element was, was just not there yet. So we changed it a bit. So what you have, what we have now here is it says, look, on that side, we have one announcement. You see, and here is the announcement, all new callout hub is here. That's the thing we just saw. And we have two elements in the uh, information doc. Of course, you have two release nodes, like on, on the right side, so they are here. And here is the callout um, collector itself, so missed hotspot, which cannot be placed, none right now is here. And here we have some editing stuff, we come to that later. So, so it's kind of clear. On that page, I have uh, an announcement. And as you can say, it, still, you can go here, you can edit it. And a, as you know, it's a, it's a single, um, it's an announcement. Uh, you can edit it a, as you know, as before. It's just nicer from the overview. What you also can do is like you have this little plus here. See? You can. Now create here an announcement right from the start. So it's a let's make a new announcement. So see, it already goes there. So it's kind of pretty straightforward. Same is like for the information doc. So if you're on that application and you want to have a call out uh, that should be in the information doc. So we make it uh, absolutely ready here as a single call out, which is um, placed show only in information doc already set up. So it's, my, it's it's kind of a shortcut, not a big deal, but but doable here. Okay, um, you can create this stuff right from the hub now. It should be like uh, less clear, less cluttered, and and so on. So and let's dive into the last element here on the information doc. This is how you conf uh, on the um, call out hub how you configure the information doc see that element here the edit part if you click on that one you will see we have two settings right now there will be more coming here but here we have the information doc and the information doc icon so what do we talk about here so for, for those who don't know or don't use it so if you if gravity is activated here we have down here we have the dashboard and we have that element here, which when activated is the information doc, which brings up here the that element here. And you see it already, it's called release nodes before it was the information doc, and it has the standard icon here. Um, as you say, our standard information doc icon. So if we go into edit mode, I have here the gear icon and I can say, let's change the information doc. So it's called release notes and we call it, uh, let's call it the release notes uh, archive. And of German it has release notes archive. So you see it's multi-language obviously uh, because we have like English and, and German here. So if I go out of here and, and activate my um, National Docs now, it's the release note archive. I'm obviously on, on, on the English one. So th that is quite good. So what I still do not like is the icon down here, which is standard icon. Um, so that one I can also be changed here. So we see it. Uh, here is the default icon, which is that one. And I made a copy for me. I want to have the handshake icon here. So if you don't know how to change it, which icons are available here, you have like the learn how to change the icon. 
So, but I copy the handshake icon, that one is okay. So it's already changed, you see it here. So if I'm uh, having it activated here, now the handshake icon is, is, is the, the icon for the archive, which um, I can activate at any time. So I have to release notes uh, archives here. I hope you like that one because uh, that one was by a lot, a lot, a lot of requests uh, coming in. Okay, so to make it really short, these are the new things. So the bigger thing is is the callout hub. So don't be surprised if this is always there. We we keep it there, not like the um, not not as we have the uh, um, the hotspot collectors. So it will always be there if. There will be a batch if something is in it. If not, it's always empty. And uh, the reason why we have it always there is so you have the control here uh, of the settings. In the future, we will have a little bit more stuff in the setting that is now in the admin side, like audiences and user management. So we start bringing it there into the um, yeah, into the edit mode. So it's more convenient and you don't have to switch uh, the application so far. So I, I hope you like the new features we uh, brought with uh, 1.22. This is something we really like. Um, and we know it's there are some changes here, not in the workflow, but to um, get used to it. But we, we're pretty sure with, with all the people we tested, um, it makes you faster and, and more organized and it helps you, especially if you have a lot in your information doc. Uh, which is, is kind of super nice in, in the overview and have it away from the page. And we need much less space when you have like a ton of elements um, on, on, on one of these uh, items here. So thanks again for using Gravity and um, let's go to the Q&A session if you have some questions around.